So welcome to GoMed T-Sites blog for healthcare entrepreneurs. Today we're going to talk about business model. Your business model is probably one of the most important features of your fundraising. And unfortunately, we see a lot of friction and a lot of frustration on behalf of investors when the issue of business model comes up. So when an investor asks you what is your business model, what he's really asking you is, how do you intend to make money off this business? And many founders start to talk about their innovation, the, pr the properties of their product, praise the novelness and the novelty and how this is so much better than anything in the market. But that is not the question. And you can just imagine an investor, if he can't get an answer, how do you intend to make money? So what is a business model? A business model, in order to describe a business model, you have to answer three basic questions. What is your product? Who do you sell it to? And how are you selling it? So a business model is how you create value for your own business, not for society at large, not for humanity, and not how you're better. This is how you create value. So just before we get started, you have to remember you have a business model and you have a competitive advantage, but these are two distinct things. Your business model is what you do, whereas your competitive advantage is why do you do this better than any of your competitors? So if you want to imagine a situation where you're sitting with a financial analyst and she has been asked to make a revenues prediction for the next five years and you have to give her the data, there are three basic things that she has to know. What are you going to be selling? Who are you going to be selling it to? And how are you going to be selling it? So first of all, the what question is, what is your product? Is this a product? Is this a service? Is it a capital good? Is it a disposable? Uh, maybe you're going for a razor, razor blade model in which you give the razor for free and you give the new charge for the razor blades. Second question is going to be the who. Who are you selling this to? Are you going to direct to consumer? Are you selling this to physicians? Are you maybe selling this to the healthcare system, to the networks of providers? Or maybe you're establishing an entirely new agent in the food chain. Last but not least, uh, after the what and the who question is how. How are you going to be selling this? Are you going to have a direct sales force? Will you work through distributors? Maybe this is going to be e-commerce. Maybe it's going to be some sort of on-demand service or subscription that will become very popular. Maybe you're going to give it for free. Maybe you're going to work off uh, hidden revenues or it's going to be ad supported. Any and all of these models are, are, are legitimate, but you have to describe to the investor what do you do. So let's take an example. I'm wearing a wearable here. Uh, let's say your wearable is connected to an app and it is intended to monitor the mentally ill for deterioration. So your, your solution is both innovative, it's ingenious, it has unique aspects, it's very accurate, a real winner, but that's your innovation. So let's ask, what are you selling? Who are you selling it to? And how are you selling it? Uh, so if we start with the first question, and that is, what are we selling? Is this, uh, maybe we're selling a, a wearable uh, and we're selling it uh, to the patient themselves in order to self-monitor. So that had the what, who, and how. It could also be that you establish a cloud-based subscription service so the families can track uh, their, their loved ones and intervene if needed. That's another what, who, and how. Uh, it could be that you're going to set up your own sales force and you're going to sell direct to the providers so that they can monitor the patients. There's a different approach. And maybe you decide to go the service route. You're going to set up 24-7 monitoring service operation all over the United States. You're going to have professional staff. You're going to have ambulances. You're going to be able to intervene uh, and help people as needed. I think you start to get the drift. I can make a hundred of these, but different models drive completely different organizations your resource needs are going to be completely different. Uh, you're going, you're, the timelines involved are going to be very, very different. And the exit scenarios are going to be incredibly different. So you really have to have a very good answer before you go to all of these questions, before you go out and, and raise money. So at T-Side, we work heavily with our companies uh, to build their business model. We haven't even talked about yet the numbers. You have to validate your business model that everything ends up being profitable, uh, but we'll do that in another chapter. We'd love to hear from you. If you want to come and work with us, we'd love to hear uh, what your idea is. Uh, you have the contact details below and please don't hesitate to contact us.